जय गुरुदेव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गुरु जी यू हैव सच एन इन्फेक्शियस काइंड स्माइल जस्ट एज सुन एज यू एंटर जस्ट मेड मी स्माइल एंड आई हैव नॉट स्टॉप स्माइलिंग सिंस थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बींग द काइंड अमेजिंग पर्सन यू आर आई लर्न सो मच फ्रॉम यू एंड आई एम रियली रियली फीलिंग सो गुड टू बी हियर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एंड आई हैव द ऑनर टू आस्क यू सम क्वेश्चन Yeah, so, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> so, Guruji, my first question to you is <coughs> my most important question. Actually, I'm going to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. Is that how to overcome trust issues? I think everybody, all my friends, every age group has this question that when you trust people in life, and sometimes the trust gets broken, and it becomes like a huge wall inside our hearts, and it becomes so difficult to trust a new person. and it always is always in my mind that i have these trust issues how to deal with these yeah there are three types of trust one is trust in yourself trust in the goodness of people around you and trust in something that is ethereal something that is so big something which is unseen unknown yeah say god is for something trust in that now the trust can be broken in all the three levels the trust in you gets broken when you are very confident and when you take up something and it doesn't work out when a failure you had to face then you lose your confidence you lose your trust in trust right this is one thing second type of trust is what you have been asking that uh, many people have this issue you trust somebody and then they break your trust and then you don't feel like trusting anybody else now the third type of trust is you pray to god and you have faith that you would get something and you don't get it and then your you know trust in god is also broken <laughs> isn't it but trust is the backbone of progress the backbone of business is the backbone of social interaction with people no i would like you to see from a broader perspective suppose in a shop a shopkeeper encounters a thief and from the next day he doubts everyone who enters into the shop as a thief sees them from that eye would you like to go back to that shop Hmm? Obviously not. Tell them, hey, I'm not going to take away things from your shop, man. Come on, wake up. So Hindi me kete na jay the dud ke jale chas ko bhi phuk ke pite hain. So is tarah ki baat ho jati hai. That is when you lack trust in yourself. first of all you must trust that only good thing will happen to you number one second don't get too emotional and make your intellect get shrouded listen to your inside your inner uh, instinct gut feeling I tell you one. What happened? One some um, a journalist in the Scandinavian island. He asked me. He looked at me. He asked me, "Are you enlightened?" And I just smiled. I said, "No." If you say yes, you have to prove all that white headache to prove to somebody. you say no it finishes no the story finishes and he is a very well known very famous journalist i said i smile i said no but then he wouldn't take that as an answer 
He said, no, you are lying, don't lie to me. <laughs> you don't beat around the bush, I'm asking you. I said, look, I gave you an answer. And you cannot take it because your heart, your mind says something, no, this is not right. So why don't you trust your inner voice, what it says? <laughs> So you trust your instinct, your intuitive ability, intuitive power, and see things with a fresh outlook. Don't see it from the same old um, glasses or colored stained glasses. You know, in any relationship, any interaction with people, see them fresh and new. <laughs> yeah. Because you don't want others to see you in that, in, in, with prejudice. So we should also not have prejudice. Then, you know, you see that uh, people trust you and you trust people. We thought that, you know, we will uh, end up in psychiatric clinic. <laughs> if you don't trust anybody, what will happen? You are inside will shatter. Correct? Yeah. Thank you so much, Guruji. My second question is, do you believe in astrology? Because there's so many times I see predictions about myself, this tomorrow, this is going to happen to you. And it does not happen. <laughs> but sometimes they'll tell me, okay, next three months, good things are coming to you or this is going to happen to you and it comes true. So it's a very confusing concept and I know it's a very big concept but it's very confusing so I wanted to know your you opinion. You should take astrology with a pinch of salt. You know, don't take it as the gospel truth, as the ultimate truth. It only gives you a just, like in the GPS, it gives you a certain route. Suppose you miss an exit you miss a road, but the GPS reroutes you and you go around another route. So similarly in astrology, if you, uh, astrology is not a fatalistic science. It just means many things influence you. The cosmos, the macrocosm influences the microcosm and that's true. But don't forget that the microcosm is also influencing the macrocosm. A small atom, a tiniest atom can make an impact on the whole environment for years to come. The tiny radiation can impact the whole world. And a virus which you can't even see in the microscope can shut the whole planet. We have seen. So when a virus has so much power, you are much more powerful than virus. <laughs> Isn't it? So your sankalpa, your intention also has a power. You can counter all the negative uh, things that comes to you through um, the predictions of astrology. Again, I'm telling this, you know, astrology is not a fatalistic science, but you don't need to every day look into that, you know, in the newspaper it comes, today you will feel, you will meet your soul mate or be careful, all that sort of thing, it's all just nonsense. And it's generalization of some, um, you know, the paper needs a column and people are interested in it, so they put those sort of things. Even those people who write and predict such things in the, in the television, they also know. It's just a game, they are just playing with it. It's not to be taken too seriously. Yeah. My next question to you is uh, that I've read in studies also and this is an experience also that I've got from me and my friends. Most of us Gen Zs are too much like they're overthinking a lot. We are not in the present moment and we say that we want to be in the present moment but Anyhow, some ways we'll always end up overthinking. We try to listen to music, we try to meditate also, but sometimes some thoughts just come in our head continuously and we end up overthinking. How, what is the solution to this? 
Yeah, first of all, you become aware that you are overthinking. That's a great thing. Half job is done with that. Second is um, bringing to the feeling level. When you are feeling, your thinking is in the background. When you are thinking too much, your feeling goes to the background. You start becoming, you start feeling very dry and uh, maybe some sort of inertia dawns on you. So, as you said, listening to music and getting up and doing some workout and dancing and meditation and breathing, Kriya will help you a lot. Doing Sudarshan Kriya at that time can calm down the thinking. Definitely. One last question, I can tell yes. you. <laughs> My last question to you is that there are a lot of times, I think because of situations or circumstances in life, where you feel very lost and it's very difficult to know what is the next step. And negative thoughts surround us a lot during these times because everything just feels like everything is out of place and it's very chaotic. So what is your opinion? How do we overcome this? Yes, yes. Especially with the artists this happens, right? I can see this from Hollywood to Bollywood to Tollywood to Sandalwood and everywhere <laughs> in all woods all over the world this is an issue especially with the artist community that's where it is very necessary for the artist community to take on some spiritual path once they know they are in a spiritual path they do some practices a little bit of meditation every day, see life from a bigger context and greater possibilities. You'll simply see these problems simply vanish. The negative cloud simply bursts and then you find yourself in such a beautiful spot. Yeah. And I'm, I'm also very concerned with the, the amount of depression and suicidal tendencies that is in this field. Also in student community, it's appalling. Especially after COVID, this has really tripled her. So, Meditation is the answer. Everyone should do meditation and Kriya. Sudarshan Kriya helps a lot.